We're almost there, Boaty Boy. How much money do you make? How much money? Tell me, Boaty Boy. Do 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 do. Ninety nine thousand pounds. We're in the fucking money. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the Jingle Jam. We're going to be playing some Open TTD, which is a really, really fun tycoon transport game. It is genuinely mwah, my favorite game of all time, Open TTD. And I'm going to be smashing all of the other members of the Yogscast. If you're a Yogscast fan, prepare to cry as I panel beat all of your favorite YouTube content creators with my overpowered strategies and business thinking. I know. What are we doing in Open TTD? Well, we're playing a very special map. This is a complete replica of the UK. Look at that, we've got Scotland up here. It's Edinburgh and Glasgow. And if you go down south, you've got literal hell. Uh, you've got physical manifestation of the word shit. And then if you go a little bit, oh, you, you go to the home of depression itself. It's Luton, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, it's a perfect map of the UK. Now you might be wondering, what am I doing in this game? Well, I am playing as the legendary Mr. T of Yorkshire T. The year is 1900, so we don't have access to many vehicles and we're going to be growing the small town of Harrogate into a bustling metropolis. Now if you don't know, Harrogate is the place where Yorkshire T's headquarters are based, uh, just to the left of the wonderful city of York. Now I love the Yorks cast, but the issue is they're currently deciding where to start and they're deciding where to start based of who was born where. I, I don't know where necessarily I was born, but I know where my heart lies. My heart lies in Harrogate with the Yorkshire T HQ. However, am I going to say I was born there? No, for the sole reason that I'm going to say that I was born in London, because if I get to claim London, well that's great because it has the highest population in the game. And then we're able to take the population of London, load them onto boats which they aren't able to escape from, then we're going to sail them up the coast of England and deposit them in Harrogate. We will be forcing them to start new lives in the Harrogate tea farms and they will work till they die and then their children will continue their jobs and they will continue growing tea and we will make Harrogate the biggest city in the universe. And the game's off, ladies and gentlemen, which means we have basically no time to lose to immediately establish the most dominant tram line in central London that the world has ever seen. So how to establish a tram line? Simply set it up like so. Then we're going to want to do something pretty insane. We're going to want to build a, uh, a dock, actually, uh, which is not what most people normally do at the start of an open TTD game because boats are usually seen as being garbage. However, the game can't stop me and we're going to be floating on out of the River Thames here. Bam, get our ourselves our first dock down. Uh, then we need to get a uh, tramway set up so that the trams can lead and offload their humans next to the fantastic London docks. There we go. Now um, we are starting in 1900s, which isn't necessarily normal for open TTD players. Most open TTD players will be used to starting uh, much later in the game where we have things like planes. We do not have the luxury of planes today, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing things the old fashioned way with paddle boats and steamers. It's gonna go great, just you watch. So immediately, we've got our rough idea of what we want London to look like vaguely set up. Uh, London should just basically look like a whole bunch of trams aggressively plastered on top of each other, uh, like so. Oh wait, I've accidentally beans up the train stations. Pro tip, considering we can't get the tram station to attach to the docks, uh, if you hold down control, you can link stations even if they don't attach to each other. This is brilliant because it allows me to exploit the game by putting a uh, station down way over here and still somehow having it connect to the docks. This is going to allow us to illegally funnel millions of people out of the city of London and onto boats where they will never see their family again. Anyway, immediately we need to continue extending the canal into the lovely space that is Harrogate. Now sadly the canal has to go through farmlands and farmlands are very expensive to build through but sometimes in live chat you just have to spend a bit of money to make a bit of money. Now we're going to place down Harrogate docks, a uh, famous dockyard, trust me. Then we're going to of course set up some tram stations here but that's later on. We might as well just build a tram line through Central Harrogate. Perfect. And now we need to just simply build our lovely way through and bam, we have ourselves the first Harrogate dock line of uh, chaos and beautifulness. Now we've basically got the uh, the fundamentals of our canal set up. We've built a canal all the way from the coast of Grimsby going straight into Central Harrogate. This is a canal going through Yorkshire, something that most people would call insane, but I would like to refer to as simply 
art. Now we are going to want a massive passenger steamer, and so for that we're going to get ourselves something a bit cheaper. Um, as much as I love the Fastnet paddle boat, uh, you know what, we might as well. We're going to go into debt, but sometimes you've got to spend money to make money, so we're we'll bam, 60 grand down the drain. We've just bought ourselves a paddle steamer. We just need to set up some basic like instructions for it to go to the London docks and fully load on passengers, but you're going to be wondering, no one's going to want to get on this boat, because hardly anyone lives near London docks. Well, that's a lie. Seven people just hopped on it. But more importantly, it's going to take ages for us to fill up with people at London docks. So what do you do? Well, instead, you need to make yourselves trams because these are the fastest ways of moving people in the 1900s. So we're going to get a tram, get it to go over to London Central, fully load on people, then go to London docks. And then at London docks, it's going to have one simple job. It will unload all but transfer. This means that it is going to offload the people into the station of London docks and they won't be able to leave. But equally, they won't be able to leave unless something picks them up at London Docks. However, none of the trams will be picking people up. London Docks is simply a drop-off point. The only way to leave London Docks is via the boat. And the best thing is you have to pay to get on the boat. Where does the boat take you? Well, the boat is going to go on an absolutely incredible journey, which I need to map on out. It's going to go first to this boy, then to this boy, then to this boy over here, uh, then to this boy, then to this boy, then to this boy, and then finally into this boy and actually we could probably do one more boy there we go and this should be enough to take us right the way over to the Harrogate dockyards perfect so all I have to do now is to talk to the ship and get the ship to follow all of these boys right anyway we're gonna go to this boy then the whole boy and then finally the Leeds boy and then we're gonna finish it off by going to the Harrogate docks and now all I need to do is map the entire pathway back again now this is frustrating work but once you get it set up once that's it it's running for the rest of the game and we'll, most importantly, we'll be making a lot of money. Now, you will already notice our first tram has gone to London Central and there are now 147 people waiting for us at London Central. This naturally means that we need more trams to pick people up at London Central. So we're going to buy ourselves 10 trams. We now have 10 trams on this one line, stealing people from Central London, ferrying them to a dock, forcefully poking them onto a boat, sailing them off the coast of England, and then dumping them to work in the tea plantations, uh, tea farms, sorry. Oh my god. We've now got the London tram station. The London tram station already filling up with people. How's London Central doing? 298 people at London Central. We need more trams. Let's go. There we go. More trams. Let's get them going and send them away. And uh, how's London Docks doing? 500 people waiting at London Docks. Oh no. We need to get ourselves another boat. We need another boat. Let's clone this ship. Let's go. London Docks, away you go. Uh, we've got to start filling people up onto these boats, sending them up to Yorkshire, and my goodness, we're already off to a flying start. Boats going at an incredible 45 kilometers an hour, and it's doing incredible. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, one thing we need to do is uh, get Harrogate linked up in some way to Leeds so that we can be making money from it. Although, actually, I think it might be a good idea just to get a, a basic money maker going. And for that, I think we should get a Sheffield uh, tram line set up. And uh, this Sheffield tram line, I wanted to go to um, the lovely place that is Leeds. So once again, bam, passenger tram. Your job is to go here and then go to here. It is as simple as that. How's London Docks doing? Uh, 905 people have now been deposited here. Central London, 305 people waiting. London Central, uh, 225. And we haven't even got started on London South. Now we are in the red and we're going to be in the red for a bit until this first boat comes through. We've only got 30 grand more worth of loan. So oh, it's going to be it's going to be a tight one, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a tight one. We can't even afford to buy another boat. That is how financially shot the system is at the moment. Let's see how our boat's going to do. Because he's almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Boaty Boy is floating down the river now as we ease on into the red. There we go. We can take out one loan. We've only got one more loan after this. One last loan. <laughs> Very close. 720 people have all come from uh, from central London docks. Well, it has cost us over £7,700 to move this boat from London all the way up here. But the time is here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We're almost there. We're almost there, Boaty Boy. How much money do you make? How much money? Tell me, Boaty Boy. Do 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 do. 99,000 pounds. We're in the fucking money. <laughs>
<laughs> right, immediately we're cloning Boaty Boy. We're getting another one. Send we're sending you off straight away. You are being named the T Tanic. Wabam. T Tanic away. We're gonna see the operating profit graphs are gonna go insane. Notice how we're down at the bottom here on the operating profit graphs. Things are about to go in the opposite direction. Now, of course, we need to make sure that the London docks are getting loaded up with as many trams as possible. God, look at all the trams breaking down. That is insane. Um, and so that means we need to clone even more trams out onto the road. Probably we're gonna need about another 50, I reckon. Oh my goodness, Titanic got loaded up immediately. There are 2,000 people at London docks. 2,000 people are just gonna be dumped into the middle of the wilderness in Harrogate, left to fend for themselves. Here comes the next boat as well. Floaty McFloatface is coming into Harrogate docks. Harrogate docks, it's got 14 people waiting there. We need to improve that statistic by um, setting up some transfers. And now we need to get ourselves a, um, a transfer system so that we can get people dropped off at Harrogate docks uh, so that they can get on the boats. Um, this is effectively a way of just cheesing the system so it looks like there are more people actually being transported around Harrogate than there actually are. Um, and so the way we're going to do this is by building a tram line, a very expensive 17 grand tram line, right the way into central York. Oh my god, I'm out of money again. Look at that graph. Should we look at the graph? Oh, look at that graph! Look at that graph! So as you can see, um, we're doing great. Absolutely fantastic. We've got our first um, trams doing transfers. Now these trams doing transfers, each time they drop someone off, they're able to drop off like 12 people in Harrogate docks uh, from York. So what we can do now is, similar to what we have set up in London, where we're funneling people from London onto a boat and then taking them up the coast to um, Harrogate, we're going to be doing it in reverse as well, where we're going to be funneling people from Leeds, Sheffield and Bradford into Harrogate and then funneling them down the coast into London. And uh, this is going to basically give us infinite money uh, because it means that 99,000 that we get from dropping people off in Harrogate will get it again when we drop people off from York, technically into central London. We are very much in the red now. In fact, we're so in the red, I'm going to um, I'm going to pull emergency strat A and um, get this tram to go into the depot. We're going to start selling a couple of garbage trams. Oh my goodness. Right, let's get you into the depot and we're going to sell you. There we go. Bam. We're going to sell you. We get a grand. It's, it's necessary. It is necessary. Although I'm pretty sure the boat is almost here. It's almost there, but we've got to just keep on selling. But good news, uh, Boaty Boy has come back to reload on people and then he'll be on his way. Though we do definitely need way more boats. Way more boats. But anyway, we've got 99 grand in the bank because that's another boat that's arrived. So we're going to clone Boaty Boy too. And I'm going to actually pay off some of my loan now because I need to get it paid off else things are going to start hitting the fan. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have to start planning out our next, our next business because we can't just have one line. One line isn't enough. We need more than just one line. I mean, I was going to say we could do building a train station in Harrogate, but honestly, we can just deliver goods permanently through the canal. We don't need to use a train line. Train lines are pathetic, actually. Uh, right, HMS Rianu Keeves, I'll have you skip that order now because you've loaded up with a decent amount of people. How many? 127, so that's a lot of people, actually. That'll make us a decent amount of money. Central London has 3,000 people waiting there, so I need more trams to pick them up. I need a lot more trams, actually. Wabam, 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 wabam. There we go. Pick them up, trams. You've got a job to do. How's Leeds doing? 2,000 people waiting at Leeds, 2,000 people waiting at Sheffield. Perfect. Now what do we do? Well, we get those people from Sheffield and we dump them at the Harrogate docks. How do we do that? Well, we plop down a station um, here, claim that this station is also somehow connected to Leeds Town Hall, and then uh, slide this station right the way up to... Oh my goodness, we don't have enough cash. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We've got another boat coming in soon. Then what we do is we basically throw the people from Leeds Town Hall and drop them off at the Harrogate dockyards where they'll then be picked up and shipped off back to London. There we go. Right, so we have a whole bunch more money now, which means we can um, we can get people to the Harrogate docks sooner. Um, not that there's anyone really at the Harrogate docks, but there's another boat coming in, which is perfect. Uh, so we should probably get our next tram line set up over here to connect to the Harrogate docks, like so. And then what we'll do is we'll then loop this back and drop it off in Leeds. There we go. And perfection. Lovely stuff. Now what we do is we ferry the population of Leeds over into the docks as well, and things are just looking absolutely perfect. We're going to do something terrifying at the uh, at the North Newcastle upon Tyne uh, Industrial Harbour. We're going to create something disgusting, but it will also be kind of beautiful. Uh, we're basically going to ferry a boat as soon as we have enough money to terraform the land. We're going to build a canal which goes through here and cleaves Holt Whistle in half. Then we're going to harvest wood from the forest, sail it out into the ocean to Newcastle upon Tyne, then float it up the sea to Dundee, then steal the logs is what we're going to do. We're going to steal the logs out from underneath Lewis 
it's Brindley and his evil, evil nose. It is with a proud heart that today we here at Yorkshire Tea announce our latest boat, the HMS 6969, your mum smells. The latest in our fine fleets of boats, whose job it is is to take Londoners out of their regular homes and drop them into the middle of nowhere in Yorkshire. And we watch as they farm for our entertainment and amusement and laugh as they mostly cry and break down on the floor as they can't fully come to terms with the fact that there is no longer an escape from the eternal suffering that now awaits them. Um, um, next up, we need to actually get started on paying off our loan, actually, which we can kind of do to an extent. Uh, and then I want to get the um, the timber out of um, out of this sawmill, and we need to load it up onto a boat and sail that boat down to here. Where's here? Uh, here is Norwich. Um, now, of course, we need wood to go into here because um, this place produces six tons of timber for every eight tons of wood. So the more wood we drop off, the better. And I realize I've said wood quite a lot, uh, more than I normally would. Thank you. That's the best joke that I've come up with, which is good. Uh, here comes HMS 6969, your mum smells. This is on its maiden voyage, by the way, uh, with 720 passengers from the London docks. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Anyway, we're making some good money. We've got another boat coming on in. So we might as well um, clone yet another ship there we go with bam and um, clone a few more trams get them out onto the road there we go let's clone five more here and bam good stuff and we can delete that and then more importantly we can clone a few more trams here on the main central london line lovely stuff truly beautiful well bam right now we need to get our wood up and running um now that our, our fish boats are doing good whereabouts have i set up the fish boats oh here i here they are so yeah we um we get fish we load them onto boats and then we take those boats and um, we turn that, we turn the fish into food. We take the food to a goods terminal. And now, what do we do at the goods terminal? Well, this is where the fun stuff happens, chat. We're going to get terraforming again. We are building one more canal. That's right. It's going to be hideous. It's going to be disgusting. And it's going to be very expensive. But we are making a canal all the way to this one random bit of land. So that I can harvest goods. Actually, you know what? We can also cheese this completely. We're going to build a, um, a freight lorry here so that it connects to the woods and then um don't don't tell them don't tell them we're going to pull a little bit of an old classic in terms of open ttd exploits and we're going to create a, a dummy station a completely fake station there we go bam bam and um then what you do you do your classic control click local authority hates us so they won't let us build okay what do you do chat when the local authorities hates you so much you plant trees because people love trees how can you be mad at someone who plants trees so we're bam we've planted some trees and now we can build whatever we like. Although I realized that was the wrong thing to build because I need to do a control click and connect it to the central halt whistle. And now that is how you transport wood via teleportation magic onto the coastline. And thanks to that, ladies and gentlemen, we can now move wood from here over to the Newcastle upon Time docks. And this is the start of everything, chat. This is it. Because now, we're bam, we get a Castle Point transporter whose job it is is to move farm supplies from the bulk terminal. Yep, that seems like a good idea. We're bam, Castle Point steamer. Go to Newcastle upon Time docks, full load on cargo supplies, away you go, and then after you've done that, go off to here, drop them off. Perfect. Oh my god. This is going to be a terrifying journey of moving wood up and down the country, but as soon as it's off, it's going to be really off. Now what we can do to be even cheekier is um, find a fast way of moving people out of the centre of York, uh, and so in order to do that, we're going to do another completely and utterly perfectly balanced and fair dock, and um, just do a control click. York Old Town Hall, bam. Now it's a dock as well and we're just gonna float it into the center of the, our regular dock there we go this is fine now we need a new ship to move passengers there we go uh, just a little one actually doesn't need to be big 248 passengers perfect low running costs it's not too bad okay go to here full load and then transfer here and leave empty there we go so this will allow us to bury people over to Harrogate at an exceedingly fast way now we're loading up timber which is always a good sign our great big ship 22 is loading up actually I think I might have beans this up I'm just gonna do this again just to double check that I get it done correctly right so supplies wood um supplies wood and accepts farm supplies bam and then we want a dock to follow it uh the first docks there we go bam so now we have a second way of gaining wood so let's get this all hooked up 
Um, so now we have another way of producing wood. I haven't even built a single train. How's my company doing? It's doing great. Ignore this massive death spiral. This is all fine. That's just from where I spent a nice bit of money. And anyway, we our first um our first goods boat actually moving timber down to the south coast of Norwich is on its way. Uh, before it gets there, I actually want I, I'll need to set up another boat whose job it is is to collect goods. And then what we do is we send the goods all the way back up the coast and probably drop them off in Harrogate. I think Central Harrogate's good. Speaking of which, Harrogate has grown. It's almost doubled in size. And we are unloading people at Harrogate docks at an incredible rate. Anyway, how are the woods doing? Oh my god. God, I need even more. There is so much wood. An unprecedented quantity of wood. HMS Last Man Standing. That's where we're going to vaguely end up. This is Timber Boat, the Teafarer. You're you're here to drop off wood. Oh my goodness, it's dropping off wood. Look at it go. Oh my goodness, we get 44 grand just for dropping off wood. Anyway, we need to get a clone of the Teafarer now because we have so much timber waiting at the docks. Now this is going absolutely fantastic. Operating profit graphs. <laughs> Oh, it's good. It's so good. Once again, we're going to set up another dock here. Another perfectly balanced dock. We'll just build it here, probably. This is great. I and mean, we have so much money now, we can just basically cleanly carve our way through any of this farmland here, just to really speed up the process. Perfect stuff. Um, and now we can have a new dock. And this this dock is going to basically do exactly the same as... Actually, wait, no, this isn't a new dock. We don't want a new dock. We want a fake copy dock. Um, this is going to be Leeds Old Town Hall, because Leeds Old Town Hall comes pre-equipped with 4,000 waiting passengers, who we can forcefully drop off in Harrogate. Right, we're going to buy you, you paddle steamer, and paddle Paddle steamer goes to here, fully loads, and then it goes to here, and it does a transfer. There we go. And we heck, we can even clone this. And wham, away it goes. This has just been absolutely incredible. And actually not, because we've got so much money now, we can just speed up this entire canal process by just having a single straight line. There we go. Flatland required. Bam. Now it's just a, a, a much faster, more streamlined canal. Oh. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Where's our um, our first cargo ship to the um, industrial center? Where is it? It's coming down the coast. Here it is. It's the HMS Teafarer with its 810 tons of timber, which when it gets to here gets converted into five tons worth of um, cr cargo, um, which will be insane. Absolutely insane if we get it all. There is timber at Dundee Docks, so we should probably get one more clone off on the Teafarer before it arrives. There we go. And that should vaguely, vaguely cover all our bases. 260k on a boat and we have six boats doing this route this is actually insane we're gonna be able to flood whales yes it needs to happen whereabouts is the crossing is is a little bit around newcastle right so um there's an annoying train line in the way so um i mean carlisle is kind of it isn't it yeah if i just go like so and then um uh, i'm gonna actually have to landscape this a bit better Gonna have to level it even lower. This needs to all be canal. I don't think I can lower it any further because there's a player who's built a train line there. So there's nothing I can do about that. That's fine. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be beautiful. We've done it. Wales is gone. Now all we have to do is sink it into the ocean. Ooh, as, as our first cargo ship off. You ship 45. Yes, you're the crates of good ship. Right, so we need to clone you so we can get another one here. So there's 43 crates of goods. This is it. Everything's going great. How much timber's at the docks? 1,700 1, timber. 1,000 people waiting at Harrogate Docks. Truly, truly beautiful. I noticed we've 1 million. Did the goods boat arrive? Is it this one here? Ship 45. Yes, ship 45 is the goods boat. Okay, I thought we had a million off of the goods boat, but no, we didn't. HMS Seymour Clavage is coming. Just look at this insanely large boat going down this tiny canal. It is massive. All the other boats are like half its size. It is this giant steamer cargo ship. It has spent almost £10,000 to bring this boat over here. It has been going for a insanely long time. And insanely long time. Let us see how much it makes on its first delivery. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. First ship arrives in Newcastle upon Tyne Central. Come on, Seymour Clavage. Come on. How much money? How much money? It's 200. That's not as much as I was expecting. I've got to be honest. 200k is good. I'll take it. I'll take 200k. It's no insanely good tea fairer because these tea fairers also make 280k. So if anything, we actually make less money because it stops off here instead of over here. And that difference is about 20k. Very cool. No. Smith, you have built 66 ship and 123 I make 3.5 million a year from ship income, which is the most I've ever made oh, in Open shit. TTD. I, this is a serious question. Yes. Uh, can we hand over the Oscars to you next year? Tomorrow? Thank you. I will take We've been saying that shares. for a year. <laughs> Smith, well Thank done. You. Get uh, out. Let's give Mr. a little toast to the Smithing Brit for being it's, the best at Open TTD. My God. Uh, so, I mean, I'd say we kind of won. 
It feels like we vaguely won. I mean, it looks like we kind of won, especially if we look at <laughs> this bit of the operating property crop. And I've mostly just been wasting about 2 million sinking whales into the ground. Um, well, actually not wasting really, just, you know, adding to society. This is gonna be it for me. I'm gonna have a nice lie down and a cup of tea and a relax. And I will be back in the coming few weeks with some fun new videos. Uh, beyond that, I'm pretty sure in the next few days I get my copy of Cyberpunk. Uh, which will be very exciting. <laughs> I'll see all of you tomorrow. Have an absolutely lovely day. And yeah, hop on the Discord if you haven't. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't. Have a lovely day. Absolutely lovely sausages. Truly majestic.